This is Lee Daniel, and this is Miyagi. Today I want to talk to you about dreams. Do you have dreams for yourself? If not, I want you to start thinking about what do you want for yourself? When I teach my Infinite Possibilities classes, that's one of the first things I talk about. I say, what is your dream for yourself? Now, I went to talk to some kids at the Housing Authority. Had a little trouble there. Because the kids there wanted to do things like, so like this. Miss Daniel, Miss Daniel, I want to be a giraffe. What do I say? That you can be a giraffe? I didn't know what to say. Or one little girl wanted to be Tinkerbell. I didn't know what to tell her either. But we can still have dreams. Now, can we be a giraffe? Probably not. Can we be Tinkerbell? I don't think so. Well, no, I don't think so. But we still can have dreams. Now, when I was a kid, I had dreams too. We live in kind of a rural area, and I used to go for these walks. And on these walks, I would daydream like crazy. I grew up during the time of I Dream a Genie and Bewitched, so I thought, wow, what if I can just shake my head? And you know, I can become whatever I want. Or what if I can twitch my nose and I can create a bunch of traveling money? That's not what happened. But I had lots of dreams nonetheless. Because my family, well my dad worked at a factory and we didn't have a lot of money. And I wanted some guest jeans. And my mom was not a guest jeans fan. She said, no, you can't have any jeans. So I went and got a job. I had dreams, even if they were just for denim, but I always had dreams. But what happens when we get to reach adulthood? We stop having those dreams. Somehow life overtakes us and we start thinking about all of our responsibilities. But you don't have to give up your dreams for your responsibilities. First thing I do in my classes is ask people, what do you want? What do you want? Know what you think you have to have or you think you have to do. And sometimes the people really surprise me with the incredible answers that they have. And what's even more surprising is the people that do it. I have some people now that the beginning of the class they had a dream and they've realized it now. And these are big things. Form a nonprofit, get a fiance, move to another town. These are things that they want and they set out and they do. If you stop dreaming, it's time to start again. No matter how many responsibilities you have in your life, you're doing yourself a disservice if you stop dreaming. Not the kind of dreaming Miyagi's doing right now. Uh-oh, I've woken him up. The kind of dreaming that, that makes your soul sing. So today I want you to think about it. I want you to dream. I think you to think, want you to think about all those things that you want. Visit me again on the path to positive change at leedaniel.com. I'm here to help you see your dreams come true.